Hello everybody, welcome back to Houston for what might be my final year, I'm thinking. I believe we got maybe one more in me, maybe two, we'll see, but yeah, another disappointing playoff loss. We went down in the Battle of the Sharks this year, and I think I gotta make some moves. I have done zero pre-scouting for this draft, so I have no idea what we're getting into here. Uh, okay, but yeah, I'm gonna try to... Do whatever I can to have an absolute disgusting team on that field next year. And by field, I, of course, mean the ice. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, anyway, um, let's look at the awards, shall we? Colorado won the Stanley Cup. Good for them. And boom. Okay, so we have Colorado, San Jose with the Presidents, and Tampa Bay ended up facing Colorado in the finals. We got the Brinkat with the Art Ross. And the Hart, uh, Hughes with the Norris, Nylander with the Lady Bing. The Calder goes to Magnuson. McCarr with the Con Smythe. Uh, Dostal, Dostal, I am not really sure. But maybe it's one of those. <laughs> Gets the Vesna. Swayman with the Jennings. The Bill Masterton goes to Ball. McLaren with the Jack Adams. Reinprecht? Rein wow. That's a new one. Anyway, that guy wins the Selkie. Debrinkat with the Ted Lindsay and Matthews with the Rocket Richard. All right. Here is the playoff tree. In case you wanted to see that. Yeah, we lost in seven to the San Jose Sharks. Very unfortunate, but does happen. It do be like that sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm getting into with this draft. I'm probably going to get ripped a new one for still not really knowing what I'm doing in this game. But, uh, too bad. <laughs> too bad, so sad. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how this is going to go, but uh, let's use some retired players here. Why not? Let's see. Uh, Goudreau retired, 1,038 points. Couturier with 1,020 points. Kuznetsov played for the Caps his entire career. Uh, Carlson ended up being a free agent, I guess. Or maybe he played in the... I'm not sure how that works, but uh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Bunch of X-Factors and abilities to go around there. Goalies, we got Freddie Anderson... We've got you see what I see, Grubauer, Olmark, Bennington, okay. Very interesting. Oh, let's get to the draft, in which I have no clue what to do. But I did do a tiny bit of pre-scouting because I found out that if I go to offer trade, the Anaheim Ducks are willing to give up Trevor Zegris for a bag of pucks. So I'm going to grab him real quick because his value is insanely low. And on top of that... They want draft picks, so I'll give you a second. Maybe I'll even try a third. Imagine that. What a world that would be. What if I do a third and a fourth? I don't think a third by itself will go through, but this might. And just a bit low. I'll add in a fifth as well. Screw it. I don't really plan on drafting this year anyway. Trade accepted. There you go. A second, third. Or wait, no. What was it? A third, a fourth, and a fifth for Trevor Zegris, who was 87 overall. Um, we also noticed that, uh, what's his name? Can't think of it. Zadina. That guy doesn't sim too well. So we might have to do something about that. But other than that, let's go ahead and sim the first few picks here to see. So medium elite. Okay. No franchise players this year, it looks like. Yeah, no. Does not appear to be any franchise players. So let's sim to our pick at 22. And now I will do some looking into to see wow i did like no scouting holy crap i mean we have a guaranteed medium elite here but he's supposed to go at uh someone was saying i think it's don't go based off of my scout ranks so this guy would go at like 96 this guy would go at 78 um, but i guess i won't take them now because we are only at 22 so i will try to find players that are actually supposed to go at about this point hmm no Okay, let me sort by the actual rank then and see what we have here. So I know nothing about either of these guys. Literally nothing. This is fully blind. This has not happened before. Did I not hire scouts or something? I must not have, but whatever. It doesn't matter because, like I said, we're pretty much done here anyway. I think we've exhausted the Houston franchise. It's time to pass it off to, um, well, no one, but, <laughs> you know, Bankston, Shaw, hmm... He does play for the Lions, you know what I'm saying? Alright, well... Defenseman, left winger... 
Let's go with uh, this guy just because the, the scout recommended him. Actually, is there any gems or busts that we... Ooh. Okay, let's, let's pin. He's supposed to go at 63, so there's a bunch that are supposed to go at like a similar point there. But yeah, we're going to just do a full-on Hail Mary here and grab Nicholas Bankston. Boom. Let's see. Oh my word. Okay. Wow. Didn't expect that. But I'm down. Pick number two. And then we have a massive gap. So actually, as a matter of fact, we're at 55 already. So this guy is still here. He's... Okay, so he'll still be around. Did I have the... Oh wait, no he won't, I don't think. Because... When's our next pick going to be? I'm not doing the math. I'm just going to grab this guy. Because he will definitely be gone by the time we have our next pick. So, another left defenseman. Hey, welcome. Medium elite. <laughs> nice. All right, Sim to pick 187. Yeah, good thing I did that. Otherwise, we would not have obtained them. Medium fringe starter is not bad. That's not bad at all. And we got some medium top sixes here. We're at pick 187. All right. Medium fringe starter. And he's supposed to go... 202 so we might not get him next round actually ooh, he's supposed to go really soon not this one this one okay so yeah he's supposed to go really soon so i'm gonna take him medium fringe starter is not bad and at 53 overall i'm not very upset with that at all uh 70 nope not 70 seventh round <laughs> imagine 70 rounds in the draft holy crap that would just be wild there used to be a lot I'm pretty confident about that, but yeah, not so much anymore. Let's go to this scout ranking. So we're supposed to take Blum or Kane. And I, for some reason, feel like they're going to be like AHL potential. But regardless, we've already taken a bunch of defensemen. So I'm going to take this guy and just see what happens. AHL. Ah, low top six. That's not the worst thing in the world for a seventh round. All right, Sim entire draft. Boom. There we go. So that actually turned out all right. I think we got... Two medium elites, I believe, which is very decent. And also, there was one thing I wanted to show you guys. If we go to view contracts here, there's someone who is not currently under a contract. Let me find them quick. Uh, hello? Maybe I have to go to in the system. Yeah, this guy fits. We've never signed him and he's at 83 overall. What a mad lad. Absolute beauty. And look at that shooting category as well. It's almost all 90s. Great stuff. Low poise. Low poise, that's for sure. But he is 6'5", and he's a power forward. So I'm down. This guy is 100% getting a contract, but I'll do that at the contracts phase. So let's actually sim to the re-sign phase now, shall we? Because I don't know if he makes a difference or not. Maybe if I signed him there, it would have eaten a year of his contract. I'm not sure. But it's better to be safe and just do it here. So... Let's try to find Fitz, first of all, because I want him back. Or I, I want him on my team, basically. Lysel, 100% release. You suck. Get off of my team. Delcold, do you want a two-way contract? No, you want a one-way contract. So you can also be gone. <laughs> Doesn't even really make sense, but whatever. Okay, so we have this guy here, medium top nine. Let's just give him a deal, sure. Why not? And where, oh where, is our guy? It's a very short name, right? Am I crazy? He's got to be here somewhere. Do I have to go to in the system? Okay, probably. And then go all the way to the top. Where is he at? Okay, McLeod. Why does it show it like this? Okay, is he... Gone? Like, hello? Or am I just missing him? Yeah, I quickly realized that it's sorted by overall. And that he was all the way up at 83. So I, I, I came to find him and... Yeah, he was found. So, there you go. That's a pretty solid... Entry-level contract for you, sir. Uh, more, I'll bring this guy back for... Yeah, that seems like an all right deal. How much cap space? Oh, my goodness. We have no cap space. That is concerning. But that's okay, because I do plan on getting rid of some of these contracts. Um, yeah, McLeod, you can unfortunately go. I don't want you to, but... I mean, you've done well for us. Lundestrom as well. I think it's time to get some fresh depth in here. <laughs> Because whatever we've had just has not really been getting the job done. I'm going to be real. So, yeah, where are our, like, star players? 
Am I missing something here? Okay, there we go. Yeah, Zadina does not sim well. Want to get rid of this guy as soon as I can. Because it has not worked out good for us. And it does not seem to be working out well for him either. Uh, Raymond shoots right. Which way does Boss shoot? Because Boss actually has a really good shooting category. Oh, he shoots right as well. But even though he's 85 overall and I've kind of ruined him. And he's a second line forward now. I want to play him on that first line. Because I think it'll work. Zegris is also listed as a first line. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm going to try to get rid of uh, Zadina because he just doesn't seem to sim super good. Ooh, Granlund. He's only at 75. This guy just never really panned out, which is interesting. But yeah, I'm going to try to offer him a two-way contract. Wow, that's just not going to be good. Like, the guy has an X factor and abilities, and he just never really turned out. It's very strange. But I suppose that could happen. Oliver, we have another year with uh, you there. Bottom six. Um... Maybe this guy. I'll just give him a shot. Qualify the, the RFA just because we can. Okay, medium elite. Boom. Not missing out on you. There you go. Hopefully you decide to come back. Another medium elite. Ah, uh, he has time though. This guy's low elite and becoming a UFA, so I'll give you your entry level deal. Um, medium elite. Bankston, we have time for you. So that is okay. Uh, medium bottom six. No, you can go. Everyone else here still has at least a year left without being a UFA, so that's nice. Uh, you can go, LeBlanc. Uh, Oliver, we have another year with you. But again, doesn't really matter anyway, because I don't even know if we're going to be going for two more years. Okay, this guy wants a two-way contract, so I will sign you up for that. And then Frederick is going to want a one-way contract, of course, so that isn't going to work. Let me just advance a day. And let's see, I've decided, but you no longer have the cap space. Oh my goodness, we can't get Trent Moore. That is brutal. So it looks like all the two-way contracts we were able to get, but more we are not able to get. How much cap space do we have? We have 1.4. Yeah, what do you mean? I mean, I'm definitely going to qualify the... Uh, we have 1.4! What are you saying, mate? Yeah, there you go. Let's let's see if this will work. Sim a day. Okay, we got him. Cool. So we now have, like, no cap space, which is lovely. And let me just go to in the system to make sure we're not missing anyone here. So UFA and UFA. Can I actually just do all expiring? There we go. That is a good way to do it. So, yeah. Uh, I think we're okay. Lundestrom and McLeod can go. And these guys I'm not too concerned about. So we should be all right. Let's go to free agency and try to see if we can pretty much get rid of Zadina. That is the goal. This is an absolutely brutal trade and I literally don't care. I just want Zadina off our payroll and I'm going to go see if we can find someone in free agency. But basically I'm getting Cop, who has a good defensive category. So he's going to be really good on like the PK and stuff for us. Um, he is, you know, 35, but whatever. We'll get over that. And then Lockhart is just a low top four with two abilities i don't even know if this will go through but we can try it okay so yeah they basically said you're an idiot but that's okay i was expecting that and i also want to go to free agency so we can see if there's anyone here that we want to get i mean we only have three million dollars of cap space so we're not swimming in it by any means Ooh, look at this guy he's medium franchise 95 overall wow and he is What's his position? Center? Alright guys, well, I'm going balls to the wall. Give me one second. Well guys, here's my plan. I'm gonna get rid of Barzell and try to grab that medium franchise player just because why not? Uh, the series is kind of winding down now, so it's time to do some crazy things. But uh, yeah, we got the first and Keen. I don't even know if this will go through. Maybe it will. The value looks deceiving sometimes, but uh, medium top four defenseman. And yeah, first overall pick. Let's see. Okay, so it's it's like a barely. They just said, like, I guess. <laughs> anyway, let's go to free agents here and see if our boy will sign. Yeah, there you go. Offer contract. I'm going to offer him, like, how much cap space do we have? 12.4. I'm going to offer him, like, a lot. <laughs> More than he wants. So here we go. 12 million. Let's see if he says yes to that. I'll get back to you in a few days. Okay, so let's see. If we don't end up getting him, this is the biggest failure in the history 
of whatever. Okay, so I think that's like a coach. Yeah, that was a coach. Uh, another coach, I suppose. Oh my goodness, coach central here. Okay, this is getting out of hand. Just show me. Oh, okay, fine. I see you. And, oh, man. Okay, this is getting outrageous. Just show me the player. Advance a day. Oh, my word. Okay, this is dumb. Boom. Nice, we got him. We actually got him. Cool. Well, this is a whole new team. Let's sim to next year, put the lines together, and see what we have. I'm gonna try to get Miles Wood here as well, because, you know, he wants, like, nothing. I'm assuming because he didn't get signed. So, I'm gonna offer him a one-year deal there, because we do have Olafson right now on our fourth line, and it's just not very fitting. So, I'm gonna try to get Miles Wood to fill that gap. Okay, there we go. So, edit lines. And then we need to go to roster moves, probably, and call him up. I would think anyway, so let's go to in the system, Miles Wood, and confirm. There we go. Now let's go back to line editing and do our preferred lines. It still wants him in here, but no, I am going to veto that. Who was the other? Okay, it was Kapari, so bring him in. There you go. He shoots right. Miles Wood shoots left, so let's do that maybe. And can I do anything here? Should I do anything here? If I move cop down, then this line becomes a plus one. Uh, but maybe new hook should just be on that last line. Maybe it works out better. It's got a pretty decent shooting category. It could give us some depth scoring still. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's maybe do that. Let's get rid of Olafson. Bring in Kapari. Yep, there you go. Make the maneuver here. And Evans is there. That looks okay. I want Boss up on the first line, and I want Raymond over here. You shoot left, and so does Fitz. So, unfortunately, that's just the way it's going to have to work, it looks like. Kapari. No, I'll leave him there. Well, Newhook shoots left. What if I... Hmm. No, I'm going to leave him down here, actually. I'm, I'm sticking with it. So, we got Fitz, who kind of came out of nowhere, with Zegris and Hanula. And then we have more Cop, Evans, Wood, Newhook, Kapari, Boss, uh, Reinprecht. <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce his name. And Raymond. Okay. On defense, we got Heskinen and Bouchard, Kavanov, Sergachev. Uh, yeah, like the plus three on the bottom pair is just beautiful. It's one, two, three. You got to love that. So our team kind of looks worse than last year, I think. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? I think the boys are going to get it done. Oh, I forgot about McNaughton. He's medium elite, so he's coming up too. He's on the rise. So let's go to scratch players. I'm going to send down these guys. So Davies, Galvis, and Olafson. Go to roster moves. Just send them down for now. And see how the AHL team is looking. But I'm not really going to spend too much time on it. Because, again, we already know, as I've mentioned, not really going to have too many... Seasons left with this team. So let me go to... What was I going? Where was I going? Edit lines. And then we want to go to the AHL. Just make sure that the AHL lines are up to standard. Boom. Okay, that's that's kind of gross. But whatever. Olofsson playing with these two might actually work out quite well. If I do that, then at least we get rid of that negative one. Medium bottom six though. Okay, we got to change it some other way. Danielson's... Just not growing. He's pretty much stuck. So I feel like this Bobulev guy may actually <laughs> grow faster. But other than that, I think we're okay. Ooh, move him up for sure. He can come up to the first line. Yeah, 74 overall. Are you kidding me? Medium elite. What's this guy's potential? Medium top six. Bring him up to here maybe. And then low top nine. Yeah, you can stay there. That's all right. Defense. Everything looks okay here, and in net, all right, cool. Don't really care about the backup too much. Medium fringe starter, neat. Okay, well, what do you guys think? Are we going to be good this year? Are we going to be trash for potentially our final year? Let me know, but I think that we have the potential to be pretty solid this year. Wow, his puck skills are awful. Wow. Wow. Look at that shooting category, too. Is that normal for a defenseman? Like, hello? No, it is not. 
It is not normal. <laughs> okay. So we might need to get rid of Yuri. I'm not really sure because that is outrageous. But maybe the chemistry will make him better. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the team. And we're sticking to it. <laughs> maybe. Oh, man. Yep. I, I don't know how the season's going to go. But one can only hope that things will go better than last year. Anyways, thank you for watching. Just thought I might do some outrageous stuff. As I said, the series is winding down. So it's worth a shot. Spice it up a little bit. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon.